Uh, this is applications of differentiation, and uh, basically, I just want to have a quick discussion about derivatives and how derivatives affect graphs. And one thing, uh, first of all, what does f prime mean to the function of f? Right. So, um, essentially, what does the derivative do to, or what does it, a derivative, a value in a derivative, mean to the actual function? And so, first of all, if f prime is greater than zero, we know, what do we know? We know that f is increasing. With whatever variable we're considering, right? And you can do it the same way. f prime is less than zero. Same, we know f is decreasing. So just some general like ideas about it, and uh, so basically, why don't we just consider um, the right side of x squared? Because I love that function, obviously. And uh, once again, don't don't correct me in the art. Um, this is the right side of x squared, and remember, it will actually go to the left, but I'm not going to draw that this time. So uh, y equals x squared. Okay, so I want you to notice how, essentially, we are, like, physically, we can see it going up quicker and quicker. See how it starts off a real low slope, and then it gets higher and higher as we go up. And so, basically, I just wanted to kind of mathematically prove that as x goes to, essentially, infinity, for y equals x squared, you'll find that the y prime is equal to 2x, right? So essentially, as um, as x goes to infinity, we find that y prime also goes to infinity. And it's it's essentially, that just means that this this slope will get higher and higher. So the slope will get... The slope will get... Um, get larger and larger. I'll put that larger and larger. Okay, so let, let's just start off with some things to note. So things to note. Um, I'm just going to call this kind of a basic logic for the whole topic, okay? Um, if f goes from positive to a negative, or if f prime goes from positive to negative, then you've hit a max. Now, let me write that down so that way we don't forget. If f prime goes from positive to negative, that means think about it. You have a positive slope to a negative slope. You go up to down. You have a max, a max point. That would be a maximum. So that at that point, you have f at that point, whatever the point is, will equal a max. So we can just continue on. If f prime goes from, how about the opposite way, negative to positive, that means negative to a positive. Then that would also be, that would be a minimum then, right? And let's say that we had the odd occasion where f prime, um, like, essentially stays uh, positive or negative, then there was no, then there was no uh, max or min. And that's important to realize that essentially that would just look like, what, here to slowing down but continuing up, right? Uh, I mean, 
you, you're, you're changing it, but it doesn't matter. There's no maximum or minimum because the next point is automatically higher in this in this like cloud case, you know. So how about higher derivatives? A lot of people have a harder time imagining how higher derivatives can really contribute. And uh, so I'm just going to put a little higher derivatives section here. Higher derivatives. And basically if um, f double prime is greater than zero, um, this means that the graph will be accelerating so that basically f prime will be increasing that's what we're trying to get at so basically it'll act as almost like a curving shape and it'll curve upward so you'll see a lot of you'll see a lot of uh, shapes like this where the curve is upward so um, I'm gonna just say the curve equals up. Okay? Let's go on to the next one. If f double prime is less than zero, then the curve equals down, right? And that usually looks something like this. So you don't have to, uh, I mean, or it could be an upward slope that is slowing down, you know? So it's not a, you usually find a lot of these downward things and upward things, but sometimes you'll see a lessening of the upward slope. So sometimes it'll go from some real high slope to a lower one and a lower one and a lower one. And that's, this is also an effect of F negative. So f f prime negative. See how it still still looks like it's going down. It's high slope to lower slope. Sorry, less than or no, just less than zero. So anyway, uh, that's the main topics I wanted to hit. Um, one thing that I do want to point out, and I'll just graphically point it out, is that when f prime double prime, I mean, equals zero, you get something that's essentially called an inflection point, and uh, that could be look something like this. And basically, you have your upwards here, you have your downwards here, smack dab in the middle, that's your inflection point. And it's just important to realize that uh, what that consists of. It's essentially um, Zero, zero, zero acceleration of your graph. That's that's kind of the the logic between it. And um, one thing that you could use these double primes for is that uh, essentially, if you have a point where f prime equals zero and f double prime equal or is greater than zero, then you have a minimum. Whereas if prime, if that equals zero and your f double prime is less than zero, then you have a max. Because that's essentially what these are up here. You know, you have your, you have your um, downward and upward kind of things and it, not too shabby. So anyway, I'm going to cloud this, and I want you to remember this. I'm going to see if I can run you through a couple examples. Maybe we can uh, solidify this whole topic.